Alright guys, today I have a little review here video for you. This is going to be on the new Moto E uh, Motorola device and I'm going to kind of go over it for you. Um, this is a packaging it comes in, it's pretty basic, not much to it, looks just like the Moto G packaging. Um, it also has what it comes with right here, which is very basic, okay, a charging cable not even USB charging cable, just straight up charging cable, micro USB on one end and just goes right into the power brick and then some manual. Pretty simple, nothing really in there to talk about really. Um, this right here is what we're going to go over and we're going to discuss today. So um, let me just talk about some of the points on this thing that you're going to want to pay attention to. First things first, speaker right there um, for your ear. You also have right here on the bottom another speaker, which is very, very cool. Um, let's go ahead and look around the sides on this thing. Here is your power button, volume up and down. We'll rotate it around. There's your uh, micro USB jack right there for charging. Flip it around again. This side has nothing. Top, you have, it looks like some kind of audio pickup and your uh, headphone jack right there. Alright, back is um, also very, very basic. You have your little dimple here for Motorola and your camera. Now, this thing does not have an LED flash, if you can see. So, um, there's definitely not as good as the uh, Moto G. But, um, you know, it actually looks very, very much like the Moto G. But it is the Moto E. Alright, so besides that, the other thing I really want to point out to you guys is underneath the hood here. So let's open this thing up. Alright, so under the hood here, if I can get this off the back, it is hard to get off. It's good to slide your nail around the outside edge and kind of hold one nail in and pull again with another one. Um, you can see the internals of the device, which really isn't too much here. But what I want to point out to you on here is that you have right here your sim card and you also have your micro sd card so that is very nice your uh, moto g doesn't actually have a micro sd card this device does um, so that's definitely a plus when it comes to this moto e uh, very very nice let's go ahead and put this back on very simple one little click pops right back on let's check out the software so we'll go ahead and do initial power up here and now <laughs> You will not see this if you're powering this up the first time. I have already unlocked the bootloader on this, and if you want to know how to do that on your Moto E, I have a video on that. Um, very, very simple, very easy to do. This is your normal boot up right here. Um, normal boot animation going on. Very, very nice standard Motorola for any other Motorola Moto devices. There we go. It's about done here. And here you you're brought to the initial startup stuff. So we'll just go ahead and start it. Um, I'm going to just skip through all the initial s s uh, setup. Skip anyway, just to show to you. Accept the privacy stuff. Skip through the Google stuff. Maybe later. Alright, and oh, that was the camera. So here you go. This is the device. Um, very nice, very nice little device. This thing does come with four gigs of internal storage, which I should be able to show you here in settings. We'll go into storage, and yeah, there's four gigs of, of internal. There's two gigs available, and two gigs looks like that are used in the ROM and everything else. But it does have that micro SD card slot, which makes this thing very easy to expand and have plenty of space for more stuff when you use your micro SD card. So a little bit weak in the uh, internal storage, but with the micro SD card, really not a worry. Uh, it's got a dual core processor, I think a gig of RAM. So the specs on it are not amazing, but for the price point, that's where this device is, is just a killer. And I got it for $140 shipped to my house, so you just really can't beat that. Um, so you can see different toggles you have here. We're gonna go into settings really quick and just show you what we're working with here. You go into about phone, and right there you can see this thing is on KitKat Android 4.4.2. Very, very nice. Um, Moto E right there. 
So very, very cool. I, I like that it's on the latest KitKat version. That's always been a plus for me. You can see it right there. One thing I will point out, or I noticed using this thing, is that your viewing angles, your viewing angle with the camera is really good right now, but if you're off to the side a little bit, your viewing angles are very decreased with this thing. So if it's right in front of your face, it's fine, but if you're trying to kind of view it from an angle of distance, it's a little bit harder to see on the screen. But like I said, you're gonna get what you're paying for, um, but it does seem to run very, very smoothly. Um, I'm not seeing any lag or anything like that on it. Everything here you got, you know, FM radio camera, all the standard uh, Moto G stuff in here. Settings, YouTube, Play Store, all those goodies. Um, we'll go into widgets. You know, everything looks, like I said, pretty, pretty standard when it comes to any of the Moto devices. Um, so not, not a bad device at all. I'm kind of interested to see how this front-facing speaker works, if it sounds pretty good. It's got to sound pretty decent, I'm assuming. Uh, but, but yeah, like I said, all in all, a very nice little device. If you're interested in a budget device that works well, has expandable storage, you know what I mean, standard Motorola stuff, this is probably going to be the device for you. So this would be like the uh, perfect device for like your kid, man. Seriously. Buy this thing. It's got little specs and stuff like that. 150 bucks. You know, they break it. They totally destroy it. 150 bucks, you get them a new one. You know, this is like that perfect starter phone for getting for your kids or something like that. This is really, it runs well, it's, it's decent, and like I said, it would be perfect for getting for your kid, first phone for your kid. Definitely would recommend it for that. You know, if you break it, who cares? Spend 150 bucks and get another one. Not that that's not a lot of money, but I mean, it's not like you're spending 700 or you're having to do some kind of insurance claim and deal with all that kind of stuff. Just buy a new one and move on very nice device for the price point. Um, we're going to open up camera really quick just to show it to you. Hmm. Interesting. So you can see it does take actually really quick pictures. Um, you know, I thought that this thing had a front facing camera, but at this point I'm really not seeing an option for it. I thought that this little front sensor right here was a front facing camera, but it's really not looking like it. It looks like you just have the standard back facing camera. Like I said, this is a, a lower end device, um, but like I said, if you're looking at for the price point, this thing's price point is amazing. But here, I'm going to actually show you, see, okay, you see the coloring right here? You can actually see it pretty well right here, right? But look, look what happens when you turn the, okay, do you see that? How it's very dimmed out by turning this display. Yeah, you can see it. So, um, if I do that on another device, you're just not going to see that kind of dimming going on. Here, I'll show you really quick on this one. Alright, so here's that same device display, right? Alright, do you see that dimming? No. Much better viewing angles. Um, it doesn't really change it when you tilt it. Um, but like I said, this is a high-end device. This is a $700 device. And now you're looking at a $150 device right here. So, like I said, these things are to be expected. Um, but uh, still, it's actually a pretty sweet little device, actually. You know, if you're looking for, like, that budget device, there you go. This one you got on it. So that's going to be my quick little review here of the Moto E. Um, hope you guys like this review on the Moto E. I'm going to do maybe some comparisons to Moto G, things like that, maybe later. Also, follow me if you want to see any development on this thing. You can see I already unlocked the bootloader. I'm going to be installing uh, custom recoveries, custom ROMs, root access, all that kind of stuff on this device. Check out my YouTube channel, rootjunkie.com, uh, all those goodies. And we will catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out.